Hey everyone, it's Kathy. I'm John's wife. And John went up to New Hampshire to get back for his carpentry season. And I don't typically go out yard sailing a lot when he's not around because it's just not as much fun without him. But I ventured out this morning and I came across, as you can see, a bunch of golf stuff. I called John. I had to ask his opinion before I bought it. So let me just show you what I got and let's see how I did. I spent a total of $55, 50 of which was all this golf stuff. So let me go in. I'm going to go through it, get the comps, and then we will see how I did without John. All right, starting with the golf bag. It's so dirty and grubby. John agreed, go ahead and throw it away because it's, it's not even something he wants to bring to the flea market. We like to bring clean things. So that's going out to the trash. Likewise, these gloves that I found, they're just shredding and peeling. So those are going into the trash. Now we'll take a look at the golf balls that I got in that lot. I paid $10 for all of them, and it started out with over 300 and I wound up with uh, 296 after I sorted them. And the Titleists, we got 68 Titleists, 17 Top Flights, Max Fly, and that included their Noodle brand, 22 of those, 21 Nike, including Nike Mojos, 19 Srixen, 20 Bridgestone, 21 Taylor Made, 35 Callaways, and then 73 generic or assorted ones. And anyway, John said I did pretty well and that for $10 he feels like I did okay. A lot of times he'll get maybe $25 to $50 per hundred, depending on the quality. I had to throw away a few that were pretty beat up. So Obviously, the, he said the better and cleaner that they are, the more we can get. But I thought I'd show you what I got in that lot. Now we'll take a look at the clubs. All right, the first one that I looked up was this big driver. Uh, this is called an Acer XV12. And it also has an interesting shaft, Swing Science FC150. So I looked them up, and it looks like they would sell separately. The actual head of the driver... If it were brand new, it would be about 80 bucks. I don't know what we can get for it used. And the shaft itself, there were none sold, but some people are asking around $40 plus or minus for the shaft. Then next up were these three Extreme MOI. These don't appear to be really anything special, but maybe around $25 each. I'll, again, John will decide what he wants to do with them. These next two, Spider Oversize, and there was a set that went for about $25. I couldn't find any of these Excelsior Raven clubs, so I don't know. It's pretty beat up anyway, so. Then there were two Infinity clubs. This regular Infinity one didn't seem to be anything special. And then this Infinity Hot Shot. Sets of these, if they were new, were about $75. But uh, just individually, people are asking about 75 for two of them. Again, John may just want to bring those to the flea market. I did find a couple of these TaylorMade R11S. They were selling anywhere from like 30 to 60 with a really nice shaft. And then finally, there was this Wish On Putter, but it is a wreck. This thing has the nastiest grip. It just almost ruined our couch. It it got whatever is on this grip. I had to scrub it off the floor. It's a picture of my hand after handling it. I had no idea. And it actually spread to a bunch of these other shafts. So I'm just going to store this whole group in the garage with the grips in a in a bag. And I'll just let John deal with these when he gets back in the fall. And that wish and putter maybe about 20 bucks for the head I'm not sure anyway that's that's pretty much what I got there it does seem like maybe this first one might be the best out of out of the whole kit and caboodle and then the only other stuff in that golf bag included a whole bunch of these uh, these things these I, I don't know I call them sock thingies that go on top of the clubs and there's nothing special I looked them up but we could either sell them at the flea market, I'm sure. The ones that I saw in there appeared to be going anywhere from $5 to $10. So certainly not enough value there for us to list them separately. 
And the other thing that came out of that golf bag, I don't know what this is for, but this thing is telescopic. And it, it goes, I don't know, like 12 feet. And I'm guessing it's probably to take balls out of the water. So I'll put that with the with the clubs. A whole bunch of teas came out of the bag and other sundry items. I think that goes to take your cleats off maybe out of your shoes. And then the big surprise was this $1.36 that came out of the bag. So that was kind of fun. Anyway, that's it for the golf stuff. So I was at an estate sale and I picked up this Kodak Brownie 500 movie projector in a box. And it, I've tested it and it works, which is wonderful. And for that $30, I also got a bunch of home movies to go with it. <laughs> and a potato masher, because we needed one here at the house. We're not selling these right at the moment. We're going to take a look at what's on them. They seem to be in pretty good shape. We think that most of the movies may be of a military retirement parade. Some brigadier general, last name was Kendall. Anyway, it'll be kind of fun to see what's on those tapes. And also, got a whole bunch of baseballs for John because he know you know how he likes these things. Those were part of pretty much the same lot, the same estate sale. And I probably should have left this glove behind. It doesn't appear to be much of anything. But in that same lot, I got some wrenches, and I'll show you those next. They were pretty much giving stuff away at this estate sale, so I grabbed all the wrenches that seem to be uh, made in the U.S. These are all SKs, and they're seeming to go for $10 to $15 a piece, or $20 if I put them in a lot. And then these little Armstrong Armaloy wrenches seem to be going for about $10. And then there was just a socket set that I threw in. It doesn't seem to be worth anything, but maybe John can use it and this was just in the bag. I don't, maybe we need a pair of pliers. Anyway, that is pretty much everything I got. Oh, no, it isn't. Hang on. I got one more little bunch of stuff. I was at a yard sale, and these fishing rods cost a total of $5. And I just grabbed them because, I don't know, they're a dollar or two a piece. This pen was $2. And the reason it was only $2 is because it's missing little tip, but John says he can fix that. And then I got this DVD set on trains, and I probably could have passed on that. That's only maybe $14. I saw one sell, but look at this for 50 cents. It is a U2 Actong Baby sealed cassette from, I think, 1991. Yes, it is 1991, and and that's about a twenty-five dollar cassette. So I thought I did okay after all. Anyway, it was fun to go out. Not as much fun as it is when I'm with John, as you can imagine, because we just have a lot more fun together. But it was it was good, and uh, I'm glad I went. And I'll be looking forward to doing more yard sailing with him once I get up to New Hampshire. All right, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, if you find this helpful, please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.